One of the other points of confusion that I often hear when I talk to pharmacies is this perception that because they're regulated by their state boards of pharmacy, they for some reason don't need to follow the DSCSA. But FDA and the state boards actually collaborate quite closely on enforcement of the DSCSA, right? The DSCSA actually provides regulatory tools for both FDA and state authorities for improving and protecting the integrity of the drug supply chain. So the state Boards of Pharmacy are the primary authority for licensing and compliance of pharmacies and the practice of pharmacy. The DSCC requirements for product tracing, verification, product identifier, and authorized trade partner are federal requirements. It basically puts in place safeguards at the federal level on the supply chain for ensuring that um, we have documentation, we have mechanisms to be able to verify product, from manufacture as it's distributed, um, ultimately to pharmacies. But because we have um, we have these safeguards both at the federal and state level, it actually creates a closed system, right? Um, in terms of who are the players in the supply chain. But we will um, continue to collaborate and work with state authorities as we need to, in particular when we're investigating suspect and illegitimate products.